Now in this video, we're going to explore another fantastic resource known as which one doesn't belong. And as part of it, we're going to explore a range of different things and how to compare and contrast things such as numbers, graphs, shapes, and other incomplete sets. So let's cut to the intro. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and I've used this activity a number of times with my students. And the reason they always love it is because it is so open-ended and students can come up with a number of different possible answers and explore the mathematics in a range of different ways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this website and it's called wodb.ca and you can also find this link in the description below. Now this website's been put together by Mary Barassa and essentially what it is, as you can see here on the screen, is it's just a number of things for students to compare and contrast. But we're gonna go here to the numbers first of all. And if we click on this, you can see that there's a number of things that they can compare. Now, we'll just look at this first one here that you can see. And essentially what students have to do, or what you guys have to do, is to come up with a reason for why nine doesn't belong with the rest of these numbers. Or, once you've done that, to come up with a reason for why 16 doesn't belong with these numbers. And then when you've done that, to come up with a reason for why 25 doesn't belong, and also a reason for why 43 doesn't belong. So have a bit of a think about it as, as I go through and have a bit of a chat as well, and think why, why is it that these numbers don't belong with the rest of them? Now when I have a look at number nine, that, that to me stands out quite quickly, but my answer might be a little bit different to yours. For example, I'm looking at nine and I'm thinking, well, it's the only one here that is a single digit number. Maybe you had that one as well. But then also, if you think about it, it's the only one here where it's a multiple of three, isn't it? Because as you can see here, the rest of them aren't multiples of three, so that's interesting. The other thing which you might have picked up on is it's the only one where the digits don't add to seven. For example, 16, one and six adds to seven, two and five adds to seven, and four and three adds to seven as well. So you can see here there's a range of different things, a range of different reasons why nine doesn't belong. You might have come up with one, you might have come up with many. See how many you can possibly come up with. What about 16? Why doesn't 16 belong? Well, I look at it and I think it's definitely the only even number there, isn't it? Because all of the rest of them are all odd. So that's interesting. Also, it's the only one where it's actually a factor of, oh, sorry, a multiple of four, isn't it? Because all of these here are not multiples of four. And there's a range of different things that you can possibly come up with. And the aim is to be as mathematically creative as you possibly can too. And what I mean by that is, you know, how, how uh, deep can you go with the mathematics? For example, I could say it's the only one that's a multiple of 16, but that there is pretty sh shallow in terms of, or superficial in terms of how I go through and explain it. But it's still correct as well. How about for 25? Why doesn't 25 belong? Well, of course, it's the only one that's a, a multiple of five, isn't it? Because the rest of them aren't, that's pretty straightforward. But also, one of the favorite ones that I've ever come across or that I've ever had a student say to me is it's the only one without a window. Because if you have a look here, you can see that nine has a window, the six has a window, and the four has a window. Now, of course, that's not necessarily a mathematical reasoning, but it's still correct. So you can see here that there's a range of reasons why 25 doesn't belong as well. And then of course, 43, well, 43 is first of all, the only one that's a prime number, and of course, 43 is the only one that is not a perfect square as well. So as you can see guys, there is a number of things that you can do to go through and explore with this. And this is just one and there's so many on the actual website as well. All right guys, so if you like this video, make sure you go through and watch the teacher version so you can see how it can be extended with your students. Also, if you did like it, make sure you remember to like, comment and subscribe to see what's going on with the Mass Pathway community. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Tom Moore.